I've shown you guys the Dodge Viper concept. Right now, I want to show you guys another amazing concept car that blew the audiences away at the 1995 Detroit Auto Show. It's called the Chrysler Atlantic. It started when Bob Lutz and Tom Gale of Chrysler were both judges at the Pebble Beach Concourse de Elegance. The cars that were to be judged for awards were on the 18th fairway. However, there were several concept cars located by the clubhouse that were not to be judged at all. Their goal was to blow all the other concept cars out of the water at Pebble Beach the following year. It's been said that Bob Lutz drew his imagination of this car on a cocktail napkin. He showed it to Tom Gale, who wouldn't show it to the designers. Tom Gale wanted them to use their imagination rather than create exactly what they saw on the napkin. This car was reminiscent of French luxury cars from the 1930s like the Bugatti Atlantic Type 57S and the Talbot Lago T150 SS. It shared many design features of those antique cars, like the sloping fenders, the teardrop shaped body, and the line that splits down the entire center of the body. Even the engine stayed true to the cars from the 1930s by being a straight eight. The engine was actually two four-cylinder Dodge Neon engines made together. It was a four-liter straight eight engine producing an estimated 325 horsepower. Along with the retro styling came modern technology. It used four-wheel disc brakes and anti-lock brakes, auto stick transmission, and neon lights for the strip of the brake lights. The Chrysler Atlantic is now on display at the Walter P. Chrysler Museum in Auburn Hills, Michigan. It makes the occasional appearance at car shows around the country, and it remains one of the most beautiful designs by Chrysler.